Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Z Network Lessons. This is Zubair Al Taf Qureshi, and I am back with a new video. And in this video, I am going to show you guys how you can add the SD WAN um, components, basically Cisco SD WAN components like the vManage, vSmart, and vBorn into your EVNG. As you can see on my screen, I have a lab set up. This is just a basic lab so that I can show you the management of vManage from my Windows PC. You can see I have a Windows PC at dot hundred and we manage at dot eleven. So I'll just demonstrate you um, that these uh, images are working, and then I'll show you how to install them. So let's go to the we manage console. Okay, I have the console. Let me just quickly go and um, change the font of this so that you guys can see a bit clear. Yeah. Now the login is admin and the password is admin. Not a big surprise, right? But you can see that as it is, it is saying the system initializing. Please wait to log in. So you have to wait and then try again. Probably my password was wrong. Okay, nice. So first time when you um, log in, it uh, forces you to change the password. So you can change it to anything. Like I've changed it to admin. Don't do the same. So here on the screen, you have to uh, set, um, I mean, select uh, the HD hard drive as 100 GB. That is the first option. Click and enter and then uh, again, say yes and enter and wait for a while for this to format the hard drive and initialize. Enter here once more and um, yeah, let it be like this. Let's go to the vSmart. See, I don't have to configure anything on the vSmart, but I just want to show you that it is working admin and admin right so here also it will force you to change the password admin admin right so likewise I have the vbond so vbond and vedge actually shares the same iOS um, okay so you can use the vbond for your vedge as well admin admin done um, it should work yep so let's go to my vSmart and you can see the vSmart is already up if I go to config terminal you can go it into the config terminal here also this should be uh, yeah usable so if I go to the config terminal I sh yeah I'll go to the system I will change the host name to v bond right bond and then I say commit and quit so this is how you uh, right the you can see the uh, host name has been changed from VH to vSmart anyway uh, sorry v1 anyway so this is not what I want to show you I want to show you about the vManage so let's wait for the vManage to come up uh, till then I'll go to my Windows PC here let me check that I have the IP address from the same subnet yeah wonder wonder zero dot hundred nice let me go to the vManage again it's still initializing guys so yep I'll close this I'll open up a new window and I'll pause the video uh, till the time this uh, we manage boots up completely okay guys so the V manage is ready let me okay I've typed the wrong uh, username wait for a second it will ask again admin and the password is admin Okay, nice. It is again, I mean, wrong thing that the system is initializing. So we have to wait for a while, guys. Again, before I before I do the I mean the initial configuration and I log into the GUI of the vManage. Okay, so system is ready and I have to log in. Okay, nice. Uh, so let's do the initial configuration. Uh, I will go to the config terminal. Yep, and then I go to system host name. I'll change the host name. I mean, the host name should be actually like this C with the capital M. So that is we manage. Okay, that's how Cisco prefers. So that's what. So I'll keep uh, give it a system IP. So you have to do this. Okay, then you need the site ID. That is I mean, a mandatory thing. Then you have the organization name, so I can have mine as 
Zab Lab. Yeah, then you have the NTP server. You can you have to specify the NTP server. Mm. I mean, for the lab, you have to specify. You just see how you are going to do a, a NTP server. So you can have router uh, uh, in between, right? So then you can. I mean, um, sync all the uh, uh, controllers timing with that, right? So you have to specify the V V bond also. So in my case, I have the V bond. Say I have a V bond. I don't have it right now. So just assume that I have a V bond at 12. Okay, then I can say commit and quit. So this is how you save the configuration. So you had this, these, all these configuration in your candidate configuration. Now it has been, uh, I mean, be, um, um, saved into the running configuration. Now, so now let's do the configuration on the interface management um, where we can. Uh, access the GUI so for that you have to go to your VPN 0 and then I need an IP route I don't have a route necessary I don't need it and I'll go to my interface ETH 0 uh, okay I did wrong ETH 0 yeah IP address then I will have my IP address as planned okay it's not working wait a second guys my system is hanged i don't know we manage is not responding so yeah okay so in that i will say 0 0.11 slash 24 like this and then no shut down and then i'll say commit and quit okay guys so this is done now i can go to my pc here and i can hopefully ping my uh we manage no we cannot let's wait for the v manage where's the v manage this is the v manage yeah one 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 zero eleven slash twenty four and what is what about the ip here one one zero hundred right so that is there they are in the same subnet and if i go to my this switch what about the switch i am configured the switch right so I'll say no okay this has not initial initialized yet so that's why the communication was not going on okay so now it is fine so interface status if I check okay status it's not working here show interface uh, status like this it's not show IP interface brief like that so we land I think I have a router here I have not changed the uh, image so guys yeah I have to stop this I have to edit I did this one and I have to go and yeah I didn't I had not selected a switch here so I'll run this again so that's why the communication was not happening let's wait for this to boot up okay so yeah guys now i have a switch so if i do a status command uh you can see all are in vlan one so everything should be good and i should be able to ping my yep so let's go to the browser here and i will specify the 1.1.0.11 and i should access the yeah so here is the warning because of the private i mean the certificate private certificate so yeah once this is uh, asking you for the login again you have the admin admin default if you haven't changed but then you have the admin and the change password whatever you have kept so yeah let's wait for this to come up let me just open up again https <coughs> 1.1.0 uh, sorry guys 0.11 if you check in another browser should work I don't know why it is 
like this zero dot eleven oh that's a wrong IP address come on yeah advanced I get exception confirm security exception come on okay wait guys let me see what is the issue okay so I had to refresh and the lo login came up admin and admin okay I'll save it oh, it takes some time anyways um, you have to give it some time because this uh, is a bit he heavy uh, so that's why it takes some time to initialize and yep so you have the v manage console here so you have the main dashboard you have the monitor dashboard you have the configuration tools here you have the tools here you have the maintenance tab here you have the administrative tab here and this is the analytics tab so yeah so you can go on to your controllers and devices and you have to add your vbond and uh, this we manage in this section so guys uh, that's it right so I will uh, just shut this down uh, anyways I'll shut it down later and I will show you this link so this is the link for all the uh, vbond and then you have the v smart you have the v manage right this one we we manage all these are here you have to just copy and then uh, open up a win scp client uh, okay you have to open up this wait a second guys uh, the win scp client i have the uh, i will i will provide you the so 192.168.1.222 is the um, IP address root and EBE is my login credentials so you have to go to your uh, OPT and then unit lab and then add ons and then Kimu and here you have to paste these vbond v edge v smart everything like this only okay there should be one folder inside that you have should have the uh, to file once that is done, once you have pasted this, then you have to go on to your CLI of the um, uh, your um, this EVNG, right? So 192.168.1.222, and then you have to paste uh, a command. Let me just change the settings of the uh, make it bold and bigger so that you guys can see. Yeah, so root and EVE. And then you have to paste a command. I'll, 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 uh, I mean, put these links and the command in the description. So you have to paste this command and hit, hit enter. Once this is done, you can go on into your EVNG CLI, uh, sorry, GUI, and then add the nodes. You can see the nodes there. Okay, guys. So you have this. So guys, um, I mean, this is the uh, link, and I'll copy this in the description as well. So you have to download all these uh, folders and then um, import it to your uh, uh, file system of the EVNG. Okay, and then you have to uh, input that uh, uh, permission command that I showed you. I'll also paste this in the description, and then yeah, it will work smooth and fine and yeah that's all for this video guys hope you enjoyed this video and like the work that i'm doing and yeah happy learning guys and don't forget to share subscribe and like my channel as much as possible bye bye